So today, this evening, I'm off to see a show. I'm off to see a series of public apologies yeah, yeah. at the Undercroft uh, in Serpentine Green, performed by U Rock Youth Theatre. And the reason why I'm going to see this show today is because not only have I seen some of the stuff that they've done before and it's really good, but also because we are uh, performing the same show. We are performing a series of public apologies and I'd love to see their interpretations of the script and what exactly they're up to. But I'm gonna try and film as much today as I can. So, we start off our little trip to Serpentine Green. We are at Serpentine Green, we are on our way to the Undercroft, we are only a few minutes late. Hopefully we have not missed it. I have no clue whether I can film inside or not, but we'll find out. It is the next day. Unfortunately, I did not get to film as much as I wanted to after the show, um, just because of we were very. I was actually quite late to get out, and also I was worried that I didn't actually get to film enough whilst inside because we were running a little bit late for the show as well due to heavy traffic and whatnot. However, the show was really good. I really enjoyed it. I think our youth theatre guys that went to watch it as well did. It is part of this year's Connections 500 Festival um, group of scripts. So it's given to us by the festival and then we get to perform it once in a hometown and once in a partnership venue as well. So the reason why we were really invested to go and see this show, or the reason why I was as well, is because it is the same show that we are performing. Our group are performing this in our hometown. Um, so it was good to go and just see kind of what other people, how other people had interpreted the script. Anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed their performance. So I was really surprised when I walked in. It was actually in the round. Um, ours is straight on, but they're, they're performing in the round, which we've done before, which I know is a very challenge. It's a big challenge to do. Um, but they did it really well. There was really good audience interaction, which is what you need um, when you're performing in the round, because if you don't have that, you kind of then start to feel a little bit trapped in the centre. I think they did really, really well in regards to that. The staging was really simple, but the few simple things they did, they used really, really well. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought they did a really good job and it was, they invited everyone to come and have a chat with them at the end and talk about the show. So it was really good to sort of hear how they got on in terms of the, the backstage and the production of actually making that show. And to know that we've probably had very similar challenges, but ultimately come up with two very different shows. Um, and hopefully they were saying they're going to come see ours as well. So it was really good. Um, if they perform it again, if they release some dates, I recommend you go and see it. But today, adding on to my long weekend, I'm now off to get the train to go to London for a university interview at Guildhall. I'm so excited. Don't know whether I'll get in or not. We'll have to see, but I've got high hopes. I now need to get ready because I woke up late and it is now 11 o'clock, my train leaves at half past one and I still have to get lunch and things like that. So I need to start getting ready and I've got absolutely nothing ready. Ah, uh, oh dear. Let's start getting ready then before I end up late. Bang. Towel. Uh, uh, comb. Deodorant. Uh, hairspray. No, where's the moose? Where's bag? Camera gear. Portfolio. Notebook. Telephone. Clip thing. Bag of GoPro bits. Eek. Portfolio. I have to do work. Ah, it's charging and exporting. Don't forget your iPad. Stand if I need it on the train. Emails, emails, lots of lovely emails. Here we go, important document stuff that you probably can't read. Ah, yeah, I'm glad I checked that. I need to bring with my with me my original English GCSE. Oh my days, where on earth is that going to be? Important documentations. Certificates. That look promising. English B. More English grade B. Oh my god, more English grade B. I'll have that one as well. They live back in there now. Eh, go in the file. 
There they go. They're all in the file. Now I need to get all of this in my bag. And it would also be helpful if I took some clothes, like socks. I have my car keys because I've left things in my car. I need that and I need that. I think those are all the bolts that I left in here. Bolts and bits. Yeah, there we go. One packed bag. Yeah. There we go. Right, heading off in a minute. Oh my days, I am now in a rush. That's her always. Ruff, 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 ruff. now to get George's gift. These look pretty cool. Let's go for one of these. Not bad, but fine. Right. Now to London. London day two of two. I've just left George's. Uh, he was very nice and let me stay over the evening. So now I'm off to the tube stations to get trains and stuff to Guildhall. All going well. I should arrive about 45 minutes before I need to be there so that I have time to wander around and make sure I know where I am and whatnot. Um, although Bank apparently is being a fiddly poop today, so we'll have to see how that's holding up, but hopefully we should be fine. I may also have to buy another SD card for my battery time. We'll see how we get there.
So now we're back home after my trip to London. I had a really good time. Um, I really enjoyed the trip. I love seeing George again, which was great. And the university was so awesome. Some of the spaces they've got, absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, I didn't film anywhere near enough as I would have wanted to uh, towards the end of the second day. That should be my catchphrase, really. Didn't film enough of what I wanted to. Firstly, because as you saw towards the end there, I got the wrong train. So instead of having 45 minutes extra time to wander around and find my bearings and potentially buy another SD card, I actually had to run to make the interview on time. Yeah, that didn't quite go as well. And then during the interview as well, um, and during the whole sort of day that we had, I didn't want to go around sticking the camera in everyone's faces. So I, I left it in the bag for quite a bit. I was hoping to get a few shots and little bits and pieces, but by the time it then took me to get it out, it was just a little bit of a nightmare. And I just didn't want to come across as that weird guy at the interview with the camera. So yeah, in the, in the name of making good impressions, I left it away, but it was a really good space. So fingers crossed, the interview process goes well and I'll get in, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm actually filming this right after editing this video and it's been two weeks since well, almost three weeks since I was actually at London, but unfortunately, just with the sheer amount of stuff that I've had on at the moment, I have not been able to get around to both editing the video and putting it out earlier, and also filming this bit as well, because things have been literally non-stop since that weekend there. It's like the beginning of the really busy season for me. So hopefully, though, you'll see a lot more of these sort of stuff, these sort of videos coming out over the next couple of weeks. And a lot of, hopefully, a lot of project reveals as well. So we'll see how that goes. But until then, I'll see you around.